Hey guys, my name is Timothy and this is Website Agency Secrets. All the things I've learned while running a multi-million dollar website agency where we help local business owners rank their websites and convert its visitors like crazy. Today we're talking about staff page optimization. It is one of my favorite pages because it can convert your visitors a lot more if this page is set up correctly. What makes a staff page so awesome? Stay tuned and we'll find out. All right, today we are talking about the staff page. Now the staff page for local businesses is usually the page where they list their employees. And I see one of two things, either a staff page that is completely empty uh, or a staff page that has like just the owner. Um, now, both of those usually aren't very good. Um, and it all comes back to what is the purpose of the staff page. And if you were to ask yourself that honestly today, what most people say is, well, the staff page is about me and my staff. And it's not true, actually. The staff page is actually about building trust in your website visitors in their question, who are they going to be interacting with? Now, I specialize in the fitness industry. And so in the fitness industry, that trust barrier is pretty high because they're talking about their health, their wellness, their physical bodies. And they want to know, is the person who I'm going to meet when I walk in that front door a creep or not, right? Then, so no matter what your industry is, if it's a service, if you're a service provider, like, like maybe you're a home services person, people want to know who's going to be walking in my front door. Um, if you're like a landscaper, people want to know, like, do you look like you're a quality person, a trustworthy person that isn't going to rip me off or scam me? And so that's what this staff page is, and that's what it does. It's not about you. It's about to what extent can you increase the digital trust between you, the website visitors and you as a business owner? So how can you improve the perception that your visitors have on your trustworthiness? Um, and there's a couple good, easy things you can do, like literally within one business day to transform it. And I'm going to tell you about it. Now, this page we've seen is the third most visited page on your website. Um, I'll show you this graphic here in a minute, but uh, people typically perform the same click pattern when they visit a local business website. And usually, if you've watched a previous podcast, uh, it is the home page, it is the reviews page, and then it is the staff page. Uh, and the staff page is the only appropriate place to kind of talk about yourself. You hear me preaching about this all the time. Your website isn't about you. Well, your staff page is kind of about you, but really it's, um, it's, it's, it's people looking to build trust in you. And so you need to, to talk in such a way that's less about your accomplishments and more about how you've helped people just like them. It is mission critical to build this page correctly because it is so important to building that digital trust that I talk about all the time. So like I said, usually people come from Google. Think about it. They're searching for your business. Let's say you're a fitness business. They're searching for a personal trainer near me. They find your website. They go to your homepage. The first thing they ask is, do they have what I'm looking for? Yeah, they have personal training near me. And then they're going to they're gonna ask, uh, what do other people think about engaging in business with this personal trainer? Um, what is his success track record? And then finally, they're going to say, um, well, who is this person anyway? And so we see about 80% of people from Google go into your website if you rank number one. And then about 80% of those people go into your reviews page. And then about 60% of those people go on to your staff page. So it is a very meaningful page on your website. It's very important. So if it is non-existent or if it is empty or if it is only you, all of that is bad. Unless you truly are a solo solo entrepreneur, as I used to say. <laughs> Unless you're like a solo person and it is only you, you definitely want to have your staff because what happens is, let's say after this point, they call you and someone else answers the phone. They're like, who is this person? Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but imagine how much more powerful it is if you have your front desk receptionist there on your staff page and they call and they're like, yeah, I'm looking at your face. Like, I, I know who this person is. And it's an opportunity to build that intimacy, to build that trust. And in today's digital age, that is everything. For local business owners, you are bridging the gap between digital experience and in-person service. And this is how you begin to build that gap on your staff page. 
the lack of an optimized staff page will negatively imp- influence about 60% of your traffic. And we have seen fluctuations of up to 2% conversion rates on a page that is not optimized versus one that is. Now, if you don't know proper digital marketing lingo, 2% might not seem like a lot, but it is the difference between whether or not you have to supplement your website leads with Facebook leads or, or whether or not you're going to break even or outsell churn or not. It is meaningful. It is significant. And in the world of organic Google traffic, 2% is huge. So what is a staff page? The staff page is the area on your website where the consumer goes to determine if you are a trustworthy person. It is where they determine if you are quality or not. It's where the perception of your brand begins to grow. Um, So it's a very influential page. Um, Based on this page, they're going to determine, do they like you or not? Now, is this fair? No, it's not fair. They've never met you before. They're looking at something online and determining if you're trustworthy, but think about it. You do it all the time. Someone comments on your Facebook page, you go stalk their profile and you're like, oh, this person's an idiot. Oh, this person's awesome. Like we all are making value judgment calls on other consumers or other businesses all the time by stalking them online. And so from a professional service website perspective, this page is like your social media profile. And if, if you put time into your social media profile, right, then you better put time into your staff page profile because that's what it's about. So a few best practices. Number one, we want a PNP. PNP is a professional, nice picture. And we are not talking about um, like you in action. Okay. So a lot, like I work with a lot of CrossFit gyms and so often these CrossFit gym owners, like they want to put up a picture of them, like up on the bars or like, like bench pressing something or like I worked with a bouldering gym once and his profile picture was like him dangling off a cliff. Now I get it. That's a really cool picture, but that is not your profile picture. When you're trying to build trust, you want, it's really simple. You take out your phone and you take a nice picture of yourself that goes like professional, nice picture. Okay. Um, So it's not a show off picture. And then you want a bio and your bio is not about you. It's about them. Um, So here's an example of what I call this, the, the, the trustworthy local entrepreneurs bio 2.0. Are you ready for it? Bio 2.0. Hey, I'm Timothy Sarazen and I have been serving the Winston-Salem community for over 10 years. One of my favorite success stories was when, and then I, call out my avatar client was when I helped 30 year old Lisa lose 30 pounds in under 12 months to prepare for her wedding day. She not only lost the weight, but her overall health improved. Her uh, smile was like radiant at the end of it. (laughs) And she even ended up bringing in her fiance, soon to be husband, who got to get enrolled too. So they both went to their wedding day together. And they were able to do it without blowing their entire wedding budget on what they thought was going to be expensive personal training. So that's that's one. That's option one. Here's another one. Um, Hey, I'm Timothy Sarazen, and I've been serving the Winston-Salem community for over 10 years. One of my favorite success stories was when I helped John, a 50-year-old veteran with knee issues, actually over like be able to stop using his cane and build strength in his leg, which he hadn't done in years because of my special personal training program for people with disabilities. He was able to not only gain strength in his leg and discontinue the use of his cane, but he actually ran a 5K, which he thought was never going to be possible. And he did it without injuring, further injuring himself like he'd done, like he'd done previously. And he did it. Um, uh, he found that, you know, it was more fun than he ever thought it could be. Right now, think about that bio for a minute. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry. Ending. I'd love for you to be our next success story. So simply request information. Ask for me. I'm going to give you a tour of the facility, tell you more about myself, my credentials, ask for information. So this is how you literally hack your bio into another testimonial case study where you talk about your consumer. Your consumer is reading this and they're trying to put themselves. They're like, oh, he has knee problems. I have arm issues. She's losing weight. I've been trying to lose weight for a long time. Uh, let's say you're in a different industry. Let's say you're 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 home lawn care. Like, 
Oh, I've been trying to grow grass for two years. I haven't been able to. Oh, the last guy did a terrible job. Like, you know, or something like I, I never have time and it was so expensive. I never got into it. Like you can think about who is your avatar client and then talk about a success, a story that you have where you helped your avatar client and your readers will begin to insert themselves into the story and, and, and you're putting them in their future best self with you as the vehicle to get them there. And what's so amazing about this bio 2.0 is that it's not about you. It's about them. And that is ultimately the highest calling of service. If you're a service entrepreneur. Now, let's say you do have some fantastic credentials. Your credentials are important and it is important to talk about them, right? You don't have to talk them here. You can talk about it somewhere else. Like uh, you have a few places you can choose from in your facility when you meet them, but you can also do something that I call like your uh, third person professional biohack. It's like your Wikipedia page. So what you do is after your example bio 2.0, you do a hard line break. And then you write about yourself in the third person and you say something like, um, here, let's talk about it. Uh, hard line break. Video bio 2.0. Uh, video, uh, Timothy received his degree from ABC after three years at XYZ. He lives in Winston-Salem with his wife and two children. So you can do something like you do that bio 2.0 and then you do a hard break. And then you begin to talk about yourself in the third person about your professional biography, your professional resume, if you will. Um, so that's how I would structure it. Now, here we see video bio 2.0. I skipped over it real fast. Okay. If you want to take this bio to the next level, you could do something called the selfie video hack. The selfie video hack is the same bio that we just described right here, but you're going to do it on a video. And the beautiful thing about a video is if they say that a picture is worth a thousand words, then a video is worth a million. In the age of digital trust, there have been lots of studies to show that a video helps like people, like human beings, our brains are like how we are as biological creatures. That's how we begin to build trust. It actually has to do with the eyes moving. Like if someone's eyes move, it humanizes that person. And so what you can do is you take out your, your phone and you video this same script. Like I just said, like you just tell a story like on camera. Hey, my name is Timothy. Thank you so much for checking out my website. I'm the owner of Tim's Gym. And over the last 30 years, I've been helping Winston Salem yada, yada, yada. You get it? If you do a video, what you can do is they go to your staff page, they see your video, and then underneath is the transcription of the video. And you can do that for your own SEO. So, so just imagine the page, you load it up, you got a video of yourself talking about them and your success story. You've got the transcription of that. And then you've got a hard break and your professional bio. That is as of March 2021, like a really solid biography page on your local business website. And if you think about it, it's kind of structured the same way as your Facebook page. Like you've got your, your picture and then you've got a little bit about you. And then you've got your timeline, which is the humanization of who you are. And that's like your video. So the video is like your timeline. And then the transcription is kind of like your bio. And then your about me section is your, is your professional bio. Um, if you need help doing this, like hit me up on Facebook or email um, and I would be happy to give a critique of that. So, um, after you've done all this, don't forget to add a call to action. So you've got your video, you've got your transcription, you've got your professional bio, and then you want to say, you want to be like our next success story, do this. So remember, make it about your visitors, their needs, and their stated desires. Connect your experience and expertise with their future experience if they work with you. And share your stories of how you've helped people just like them. Add a call to action. Call it a day. That is your new staff page. It didn't require any coding. It didn't require any graphic design. It didn't require any technical expertise. It only requires a phone with a camera and your good stories of how you've served your community. Take this information. Go and thrive, my dear local business owner friends. And remember, it all starts with your website. See you next time.